one failed southwest monsoon of 2023 has already left Bengaluru thirsty in February, much before peak summer is yet to set in. We are now near River Kaveri in Sri Rangpatna, near Karighatta, where locals and farmers say this is the lowest water levels they've seen since many years. Bengaluru's water board has identified 257 dry spots in the city where drinking water has become a problem and is taking measures to supply water to these places through tankers. The Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board has said that the government has 10,995 bore wells in the city and water levels in 3,700 of them is low and 1,214 of them had completely dried up. The Bruhat Bengaluru Mahanagara Palike, the city's civic body, has directed officials to dig bore wells in 58 areas which are reeling under drinking water crisis. Of the 58, 16 are in Mahadevpura, 25 in Rajarajeshwari Nagar, 5 in Bumbanahalli and 3 each in Yelahanka and Dasarahalli zones. The borewell what we had, which used to serve 30% of the purpose, is now 0%. So now we are completely relied on uh, uh, tangers. It used to be around 1100, but as in time is going on, it has increased to 1500 plus. And we are also getting anxiety from the water tankers that going forward it may double the price also. We are not only worried about the price doubling, but mainly like will we get water even if we pay that much. And so the definitely, quality water I think that would also be a problem, right? We yeah. don't know where these waters are coming yeah. up. And, uh, that is already blamed upon the groundwater is low, so it will be going to be hard and uh, definitely it will impact our kids' health and ourselves. If there's an example for irony, it's right here. What you see behind me is often mistaken for a giant wastewater drain. But this is in fact the Vrishabhavati, the only river that originates in Bengaluru. While Bengaluru is now staring at a severe water crisis, the state of the Vrishabhavati river represents what has happened to other water resources within and around the city, be it the Arkavati river, or the network of lakes that ensured that Bengaluru was not dependent on a network of pipelines or bore wells that were pumping water from afar or below the ground. Bengaluru is, uh, uh, is unofficially a hill station. It is actually situated 900 meters above sea level. Many people don't realize that 97 98 percentage of India's population is uh, below Bengaluru's elevation. So uh, this, I mean, uh, it has been uh, a boon as well as bane for the city. I mean, it gives a, a, a beautiful weather as well, uh, which, you know, it's uh, typically cooler than other places. But also it means that uh, for perennial uh, water resources, it has to depend on rivers like Kaveri or the dams uh, that are placed in Kaveri, which means that the water has to be pumped for a very high elevation. And uh, I mean, this is a thousand feet uh, height and 100 kilometers in length, it has to be pumped. And uh, that is one problem. And uh, uh, and also, I mean, this pumped water is also not uh, uh, provided for the entire city. It is provided right now for the core. And of course, in the next stages of Kaveri, they are planning to expand it uh, to reach the peripheries. But still, uh, even uh, when municipal water is provided, uh, there is a huge dependence of, uh, uh, you know, of the citizens on uh, uh, groundwater as well as uh, tankers and other uh, bottled water and other means of uh, uh, provisioning of water. Uh, you know, for not just for drinking, for because there are other many other ways we use water for, and it requires a lot of these resources. Like so, if there is any reduction of rainfall, uh, there is an acute stress. Uh, this acute stress is not rising because of lack of water, but uh, it's not. I mean, of course, it's happening in years of less rainfall, 
but it is not necessarily lack of water but the usage is very very high which means uh, you know for agricultural reasons or for uh, domestic reasons we have been consuming a lot of water we are uh, over consuming water and uh, uh, you know unless we uh, work on our water use efficiency uh, reuse uh, methods i mean uh, there is a lot of sewage water that's going out of the city how it can be reused for the uh, you know non potable purposes and uh, if we don't work on that uh the city is likely to face uh, water stress it's not just the city i mean at least the city can be saved through all these uh, big infrastructure projects but the region around uh, uh, you know bengaluru will always be facing stress because of uh, this kind of uh, uh, development and this kind of water usage we are now in the bylanes of varthur whitefield and varthur which houses the it corridor of the city are some of the worst affected areas by the drinking water crisis this summer a drive through varthur and whitefield one can spot hundreds of water tankers dotting everywhere on the street as most borewells have dried up the prices of water tankers have more than doubled compared to last year driving up the water bills of many households to above 4000 a month a price too costly for poor and lower middle class families in these areas currently you know the bore wells being drilled to the close to you know 1800 commercial drilling where you know no residents can afford to drill to such an extent so you know the situation is so dire even drilling uh, you know for 1800 uh, feet we are unable to find you know even 1 inch or 2 inches of water so supplying uh, is very difficult to the populace which is over uh, you know 45000 you know in this village alone varthur village alone the cost of water tankers have shot up so much that even apartment residents are feeling the pinch they are also so hard to come by that even if they pay heavily there is no guarantee that they will get water 25 km in the hog barod karchu matte alli filling avrunu day by day rate yes sir vehicles ashtu jaasti hogutu alli avrudu demand jaasti agutte now all extra kodbekagutte diesel lo ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟು ಈಗ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಡಬಲ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೂ ಖರ್ಚು ಅದೇ ಥರ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಡೈಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಐವತ್ತು ಅರವತ್ತು ಕಾಲು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಈಗ ಗಾಡಿ ಹೋಗೋವಾಗ ನಂಬರ್ ತೊಗೊತಾರೆ ಗಾಡಿ ಮೇಲೆ ಕಾಲ್ ನೈಟೆಲ್ಲ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ಐವತ್ತು ಕಾ ಐವತ್ತು ಅರವತ್ತು ಕಾಲು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸ್ಪಾಟಲ್ಲಿ ಗಾಡಿನ ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೀರು ಹಾಕಿ ನಮಗೆ ನಾವು ಇಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮೂರು ಸಾವಿರ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅನ್ಲೋಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇದೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ಫೋನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಗಾಡಿ ನೀರು ನೀರಿಲ್ಲ ಮೂರು ದಿವಸ ಆಯಿತು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೇಲಿ ನೀರಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೇಳ್ತೀರೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವೇ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅವರೇ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇದೆ ನಾವು ತಡೆಯಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗದಿರ ಅವರು ನಾಟ್ ರೀಚಬಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಮೂಡಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಫೋನ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ The variation in rainfall in the 2023 southwest monsoon has resulted in reports of water shortage from several parts of the country particularly from peninsular India however as experts point out unlike delhi or kolkata which are less vulnerable due to their proximity to major rivers bengaluru stands out as the only major city in the country which is neither close to a coast nor to a river this increases its dependency on unreliable and expensive sources of water the city was known as a city of a thousand lakes before that and we had this really a uh, well crafted cascading lake system um which which to a large extent was man made um to actually supply fresh water to residents and what happened was that in the in the late 80s and early 90s we actually started increasing water supply to the city from um the kaveri river and you know that uh, and it's quite hard to sort of visualize that until you realize that you're sitting on a plateau which is much higher than the river itself and there are enormous pumping costs that are involved with actually getting that water up to where we need it but as soon as people started to um you know, look at the river water being the primary source of water these day these lakes lost their primary role as what uh, as being water supply lakes and as a result they actually um ended up uh, you know getting polluted or encroached upon and now we've lost a lot of those lakes in the city the current situation serves as a wake up call to the government to look for a more permanent and long term solution 
to the water problem of an ever expanding and ever growing Bengaluru. Though we have done a lot of arrangements, but still there is a lot needs to be done. We are uh, continuously monitoring the situation and taking action accordingly. Our deputy CM has ordered that we should uh, have a meeting with all the stakeholders, the resident welfare association as well as the tanker suppliers, because there are news in the media that the rates of water tanker, I mean the rate at which the water is being supplied uh, by the water tanker uh, persons that has increased over the last 10-15 days. Uh, we are keeping a watch on that and uh, we are going for registration of all such water tankers in the area so that we know who are operating from where they are getting the water and we can fix reasonable uh, rates so that uh, people uh, are assured of uh, water at the correct rates. We will be bringing you constant updates on the water crisis of Bengaluru. For more such stories and updates, keep watching The Hindu.